In this video, I'm using this Zinsa cover stain to sort out and seal this bare plaster and this water damage that I've got on my ceiling. Check it out. Hey, what's up guys? Yes, it's your main man, JB. And in this video, I'm sorting out this ceiling. There was some water damage, previous water damage. It's all dry now. Um, there was a leaky valve above this ceiling here so I've got some water damage stains I've also got a lot of damage here where I started so I started pulling the plaster off and it was all a bit rubbish I've repaired all of that it's now really good it's dry and it's ready to be sealed and painted and for that I'm using this Zinsa cover stain now this is an interior and exterior solvent based quick dry cover stain and it dries in 30 minutes to a matte finish. It's ideal for all surfaces, no sanding, sealing all stains, all types of paints, and it has this high hiding formula. Now I'm using it indoors because I want to get rid of this stain and or the water stains and also want to seal this plaster. And actually for interior use, one of the things it is ideal for is previously coated drywall, cured plaster, and masonry so uh, that's going to be absolutely perfect to hit that plaster to hit the filler the plaster and also those water stains outstanding adhesion and stain killing power now this is a rattle can so you've got to give it a good shake before use and then it says turn it upside down and continue to shake Now make sure that this product is at room temperature, the room itself is well ventilated and uh, make sure you put a mask on. Make sure you've sheeted the ground because there will be a little overspray and some of the dust will settle. Now I'm not too bothered about getting the area where it was plastered completely white because I'll just do a couple of coats of the emulsion over that. Um, so these two areas here obviously where the water stain was and I'm going to give those another coat. So I'm going to leave it 30 minutes and then we'll just go over that bit again. Right, I need to get the windows and doors open because this is a bit stinky. Well it's been a good half hour since I've done this and it is completely dry and just feeling it over where it's been plastered and plaster skimmed it's actually really smooth and it just looks like it's really sealed which is obviously the job of this anyway so I'm really happy with that and I'm not going to put any more of this on there and what I am going to do is just put a little bit more here where the stains were. I can't really see them as much now um, because this has actually covered them really well. But um, I really don't want to have to come back and do this again so I'm just going to give this little bit 
one more little bit of spray and then we're done. Second coat dry and as you can see that is looking absolutely fantastic and you can't even see where the stain is now so what we're going to do is just cut it in along this part of the wall here and I'm going to paint that part of the ceiling. Check that out, that looks absolutely fantastic. So I'm going to do the rest of the ceiling, I'll let it dry, we'll come back and we'll take a look. Right, there we go, check it out. I've just put the spotlight in, the paint's dry. I did put two coats on, two coats of emulsion on just because where the plaster, um, I repaired the plaster, it came through, it's still a little bit dark. But as far as the stains go, absolutely fantastic and it's covered it up brilliantly so if you've got water stains or new plaster that needs it and get yourself some of this zinsa color stain fantastic stuff <laughs> 